Howdy, everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. First, here's a word about one thing that we all have in common. All of us want to get the most for our money. And if you buy Horlicks malted milk, you get full value. In Horlicks, you get a scientifically processed combination of full cream milk and the finest of wheat and malted barley. This delicious and easily digested food is so carefully processed by Horlick's original method in vacuum that it retains the precious minerals and vitamins that we need. Horlick's is in a class by itself. Protect yourself. Get Horlick's, the original and genuine, which has been used and recommended by physicians all over the world for almost 50 years. Refuse imitations and substitutes which do not bring results and which do not possess Horlick's remarkable flavor and nutritive value. Well, now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Little Lemon Abner's Circus opened at the county seat yesterday and from all reports did a big business on their opening day. Lum and Abner were unable to make the trip and have turned the management of the show over to Squire Skimp. <laughs> As we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find Grandpappy Spears in charge of the Jotham Down store. Abner has just dropped in looking for his old friend Lum. Listen. It's been awful windy today, awful windy. Oh, I never seen the light on. It just might not have blowed me down walking over here. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me none if we never had a storm. No, no, it's the way them clouds are gathering over there. It sure looks like it. Uh, what about this lawman, Grandpa? Uh, he ain't been back over here since noon, Abner. Yeah. Uh, Lum ain't feeling very well. No, no, I know he ain't. Well, I ain't neither as far as that goes. Hey, he's been complaining about a terrible headache. Uh-huh. I told him this morning I believe it's just his eyes are bothering him. No, no, I don't much believe it is, Grandpap. Uh, he just got them new spectacles, you know, just the other day, and his eyes oughtn't to be giving him no trouble at all now. Yeah, I don't know. He, he was down here this morning and said his eyes were about to kill him. Yeah, well, mine is the same way. No, oh, me, if we hadn't have got our glasses when we did, why... I believe we'd have both been blind by this time. Yeah. Well, Abner, of course, it ain't none of my business, but uh, I just don't believe them glasses fit you fellas right. Well, I don't see how they could fit no better. Look at that. Look how nice they fit up on my ears there. I never had a pair that felt more comfort on my ears, anyway. They're still awful blurry to look through, but uh, that octopus said, you know, it'd take a few days for them to get set to my eyes. Yeah, I, I could tell you you'd have some trouble seeing through them. Oh, yeah. I, I noticed you sort of feeling your way along the counter there when you was coming in. Well, yeah. So. Well, I, I just can't see nothing until I get right up close to it. Not a thing in the world. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rom says his makes things look like a heap closer to him in the air. Yeah. Makes things so much bigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that set that he's got, they exaggerate things. Something wonderful, yeah. I tried them on here yesterday. <laughs> a five it on my arm while I was wearing them. I looked down and seen it, and it just might not scare the daylight out of me. I never seen such a barn. Yeah, well, sure. I, I like to laugh my head off at Rom this morning. He, he was coming across the road out there, and all of a sudden he lit into running and hollering, Look out! Look out! <laughs> uh, what, what was the matter with him? What did he fear? Uh, what, what was wrong? Well, it weren't nothing. It was an automobile about 100 yards up the road there, and he looked at it through them spectacles of his and thought it was right on him, about to run over <laughs> Well, I do know. <laughs> but it, it's a good thing it was Rom instead of Cedric. Yeah, them spectacles of Cedric, you know, they make everything look far off, you know. And I, I'm just prepared for Cedric. I'm, I'm afraid he's going to get run over. The car could be right on him, you know, and still look like it was 50 yards off. Yeah. yeah there's, there's something wrong with them glasses you fellas bought. I don't know what it is, but I, I don't believe that fella you bought them off of knows nothing about fitting them, tell you the truth. Don't know nothing about fitting them. No, sir. Oh, yes, he does, Grandpap. Yeah, you're wrong about that. No, me, he's the quickest hand at it i ever seen in my life. Why, it never taken him two minutes to get me fixed up. He just wrenched down this case there and pulled out a pair and set them on my ears. And there I was. Never taking him no time at all, hardly. Well, it's just strange to me that you, Lama or Cedric Neal, ain't never been bothered with your eyes, huh? 
Here you bought them spectacles, and ever since you've had headaches and your eyes have been burning you and everything else. Yeah. Oh, well, my eyes are just getting worse, that's all. They're just failing me. A few days here, why, well, I ain't been able to see nothing. I run over the thing, run into anything. I walk right smack dab into the side of Dick Hutterson's store this morning like I broke my nose never seen it till I hit it. Well, I do know. I just can't hardly get through a door at all no more. And it's a funny thing about it, too, Grandpa. Now, I can see a heap better without them glasses than I can with them. See better without them? Yes, sir. Now, well, right now, I can't see the first side of the store second from here. I sure can't do it. Well, I do know. But uh, I can take them off. Now, wait a minute. Now, now I can see them shelves just as plain as day. Oh, yeah. See all them canned goods lined up on there and everything. Oh, there's uh, tomatoes and salmon and bacon powder. Hey, if you can see better without them, then why in the world, why in the world don't you just take them off and not wear them to Oh, no. No, sir. No, Grandpa. If I need them as bad as that salesman said I did, why, I, I definitely let myself go a day without them. Right now is when I need them when my eyes are like this. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, here comes Lum now. Yeah, yeah. I must be wearing his new spectacles the way he's walking there. Yeah, yeah look at him. <laughs> look how he's picking up his feet there, would he? <laughs> Puts me in mind of a train horse. <laughs> he can't have tea ever. Oh, no, them spectacles exaggerate things, sort of. I reckon them little rocks out there in the road look like great big boulders to him when he's picking up his feet like <laughs> Well, I reckon what he is circling way out around there for a look at him. Well, I do know. Well, I don't know unless it's that tin bucket laying there. Yeah, that looked like a barrel to him with them spectacle heads yeah, on. Huh? More than likely. I know somebody come in here this morning wanting a bucket of molasses and called me to come over to help him lift it down off the shelf. <laughs> he got to looking at it through them glasses of his and spirit he couldn't lift it. Well, I ain't surprised. Uh, howdy, Rob. Gentlemen, gentlemen. How are you feeling today? Well, all right, except my head's still splitting wide open. Never had a headache hang on so in my life. Huh? I say my head's still about to kill me. Well, talk louder. I can't hear you. You ain't deaf, hear you? Well, come on back here. What you standing way back there for? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't get used to these specs. You, you fellas look like you're right under my nose here. Yeah, well, take them spectacles off so we can see what you're doing. Avery, you better put yours back on your eyes in bad enough shape now. All red there. Yeah, yeah, I expect that better. I forgot about it. Here, let me get them all. Yeah. I've been waiting here for you, Lom. I just thought I'd drop over and see if you'd hear anything from Squire Skin. Yeah, he just a while ago called me. He did? Yeah, just right after the matinee performance was over. Well? <laughs> it was doing uncommonly well. Said the sideshow was doing a good business. Well, good. I'm proud to hear that. Yeah, sure. It might make you fellas a good man, old Squire. Might make you a good man after all. Yeah. Oh, he's a very man for the job. He's a jewel. A jewel. Yeah, you ought to make some money out of that circus, fellas. Oh, we will. Ain't no doubt about that. This grocery business is just going to be a sideline to me. I can tell that already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I like the circus business a heap better, too, Rob. I well, can't... the beauty of the circus business ain't no grief to it. Ain't no what? No oh, grief. It's all cash. Oh, yeah. You walk up and hand you the money for a ticket, and you're done with them. Here in the store business, they're always wanting stuff on a credit. And if they do pay cash, more than likely they'll bring it back in a few days and want to exchange it for something else or get their money back one. A uh, body can never tell where he's at in the grocery business. No, no, that's your trouble with it, all right. Fellow work hard all day selling stuff, and then half of us I will be brought back the next day. Yeah, I... I think, Gabner, in a few months, me and you being old is the biggest circus man in the world. Yeah, yeah, that's the time. <laughs> well, sure, you know, I'm doing all that business in there, Lom. I'd sort of like to go in there and look things over and see the crowd. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind to drive in there tonight myself. If Cedric wants to go mighty bad. He does. Yeah, he's been trying to find a ride in there all day. Well, it'd be all right. Uh, you said drive in, huh? Yeah. Well, who was you aiming on doing a driving? Well, sort of aimed on doing a driving myself. Oh, no, no, sir, now, Lum, I don't ride in there if you no automobile. No, sir. Why, it's a matter of... Not with them spectacles on the ears. I know that the way things look so close to you, I'd be driving along there, and you'd see a curve and look right up again, and you'd start turning there, and you'd be about 100 yards away from it. No, sir. Well, who are you ain't going to let Cedric drive? Well... And it's them spectacles of his, and he never would make the turn. He'd go right on by it before he turned. 
Well, I reckon I'll just do the driving myself, then. That's what I'll do. I'll drive for us. You drive? Yeah. Well, that'd be worse than ever. You can't see nothing. No, I'm going to that right. Well, let me see if well, I... Wait, wait a minute. Uh-huh. That's our ring. I'll answer it. Oh, yeah. Hello? I don't ain't going to ride with him. This is a jot him down, store. That's an automobile around something. Well, this is him. All right, I'll hold it. Oh. More like the squire calling up about something. It's from the county seat. Yeah, I reckon he wants to know what time they're going to get in there. Hello? Squire? Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes, sir. Good business. Good business. Huh? How's that? You don't mean it. Hey, what's the matter, Tom? What's the matter? Oh, for goodness sake, for goodness sake. What is it, said they had a terrible storm in there just a while ago and blowed the tent down, and we've got animals scattered all over the county seat. <laughs> Didn't Lum say there's no grief in the circus business? <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring you a scene from a typical modern American home. Mr. and Mrs. Chalmers, the owners, have just got back from seeing a movie. <laughs> Listen. Well, it's nice to go out, but, oh, it's certainly nice to get home, too. Oh, sure it is. Oh, pretty good show, though. Nothing wonderful, Tom. That's right. Never satisfied. Well, you know why. If we'd gone to the show I wanted to see. You mean the one I'd seen already? Swell for me. Well, no worse than it was for me. I hate those silly comedies. Well, never mind. Let's have a bite to eat and get to bed. <laughs> what? Eat again? Why not? Because it always keeps you awake. That's true. Well, that's better than being hungry, though. Listen, Tom, if you've got to have something, have a glass of Horlicks. It's so much easier to digest. You mean Horlicks molded milk? Surely. I've been having it for lunch, and it, it's really awfully satisfying. Yeah, but how about the taste? Oh, you'll like it, Tom. It's, it's grand. It's so much better for you, too. I wish you'd try it. Sure, I'll try it. Fix some up. Good. Come on out and help me. I'll show you what to do. Then you can fix it yourself whenever you want some. It's easy. It doesn't take a minute. Come on. Right with you. Well, Mrs. Chalmers hit on just the thing for that late before going to bed smack. Horlicks being nourishing is as satisfying as much heavier food. Yet it's so easy to digest that it doesn't interfere with sleep. As a matter of fact, if taken hot, it promotes sound sleep. Get a package of Horlicks at your favorite druggist in either natural or chocolate flavor. Then try this Horlick plan yourself. This is Carlton Brickert, speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlick, who now bid you all good night and good health.